Shortly after the majority side of the National Assembly voted against legislation the government says is needed to move the Amila Falls hydroelectricity project forward, President Ramatar took to the airwaves to condemn the move. Their actions now place the Amila Falls hydroelectric project, the largest project in Guyana's history, in jeopardy. This politics of blackmail will not get us anywhere. The president's address to the nation came with the tagline, an act of domestic terrorism against development in Guyana. The Alliance for Change, the AFC, said that that statement about terrorism was a dangerous one and represented a threat to all law-abiding citizens. The AFC said the statement was designed to terrorize the national elected parliamentarians into submission. The president said that the opposition voted against a bill to amend the Hydroelectric Act and a motion to raise the debt ceiling that will create the financial architecture to implement the Amila Falls Hydro Project has put the project in jeopardy. It is difficult to predict what will happen next, but what is clear is that the Amila Project in its current configuration may well be in jeopardy. The AFC said it will remain prudent before supporting any public policy of the PPP government, especially since they have accumulated a reputation for manufactured information, scandals and unfair practices. The party has said it wants a professional opinion from the Inter-American Development Bank before it signs on to any measures to support the Amila Falls Hydro Project.